plus a second chance at an education and graduation. The program seeing success with at-risk students and how they are preparing for a new school year. Good morning and thank you so much for making us a part of your Friday. I'm Sofia Espinosa. State lawmakers passed several plans over the past year to address the concerning teacher shortage all across the state. Yeah, but now they're... And WNE's Alyssa Patrick takes a closer look at who these programs serve and how they've been successful in graduating high-need students. Thanks for being here. I'm Sierra Rucker. We are now following developing news this morning. And I'm Sophia Spinoza. We're going straight right now to Decatur, where there is developing news, breaking news on Webster Street. WND's Darren Mullen is there. Darren, I see that you're there. Is there an active scene there? What can you tell us? We're testing a new type of solar vehicle. We'll tell you all about the ride and development that could help save the environment. Testing is underway now on a new type of electric vehicle that's also harnessing energy from the sun. Yeah, AI bartenders that recognize regulars could be the future of dining. Experts say AI could transform the hospitality industry. That reminds me of the, is it a, the Barney song? It's like, clean up, clean up, everybody clean. Up. Everybody clean. Yeah, we did it with our parents, so I guess it was a, a bonding moment. So and also coming up, showing off ninja-like skills at the young age of 16. Yeah, how he's overcoming obstacles. We're talking plastic water bottles, shopping bags, all those that get into the sewer system and end up at the water plant. To help reduce that waste, the sanitary district is launching a campaign now encouraging people to ditch plastic for one month. Well, while trash cans may not always be the most glamorous thing, the Decatur Park District is doing what it can to fancy up that's right, the trash. Emergency responders of the future are in the middle of a six-week training program. Yeah. Makes you want to go like this. Yeah. Okay, we have some more <laughs> details on this teen's trip all the way to the top. Back here in the studio joining us once again from Richmond Community College is Chef Brian Collada. So, uh, Chef, what are you making for us this morning? Well, good morning and thank you for having me. Really apply that in real-life situations. That's awesome. Absolutely. And really quickly, why is it so important for you guys to maintain yourself in the community? All right, thanks so much, Anthony. We're going to dig in right now. Yes, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you again coming up at noon.